Okay, this is a weird video I wanted to make. <laughs> Basically about hand trucks. I'm going to have a little difficulty here, but I'm going to try to do my best to make it. You have two different small hand trucks here in front of you, and I'm going to illustrate uh, both of them a little bit. I'll give you an idea what price I pay for them and why I'm using them. Sure, they are much larger hand trucks that have uh, more versatility, can handle more weight, and some of the major differences between this would be the tires would be air tires instead of hard plastic with some kind of rubber on the outside okay put my phone over here real quick well I'm, I'm actually controlling the G7 through my phone <laughs> this is one of my first hand trucks it's, I don't know pretty light I'm gonna guess under 20 pounds maybe 16 pounds or so it's very versatile set to handle about 150 pounds but mm, nonsense <laughs> a lot of plastic on there pay $25 for this when I got it on sale uh, it's not made by Milwaukee, it's made by some general company. Sears, I bought one of these years ago for about, mm, I'm going to say $40. I just happened to see this one sale. They probably made a lot of them from Milwaukee, and then now you can find them on sale. The wheels open, and basically after using it for a prolonged time, what happened was the plastic here wore out. Because you, if you can see there, there's a gear right here. Kind of snaps in. And then it stays down okay so I don't use this very much but it works really nice I'm gonna say it's gonna handle between 50 to 70 pounds comfortably uh, up and down stairs stuff like that okay but I don't use it very much I used to use it on one site where I used to walk around without my vehicle I used to carry tools and it was very handy at that site because I didn't have to carry a lot of material it was easier to work on that site so this was a nice uh, one to consider they're probably between 25 and 50 dollars something like this and you see them I saw them my first one I bought at Sears excuse me for $40 this one I bought online probably eBay for like 25 bucks something like that it's the same exact one just uh, dressed up from Milwaukee okay you guys might enjoy this if you have a small place a little house you don't move a lot of stuff around uh, you need to drag your tools around you're not sure where you're going very easy and lightweight to keep uh, in your vehicle okay That other one there is about 16 inches. This is a 16 inch ruler. Hoping you guys can zoom in onto that. Um, from the wheel set on this one here, it's a little bit over 16. I'm going to say about less than 16 and a half inches. Okay, so that's part of what makes this particular one so nice. And I'll put in the description the exact name. It's made by Hopper. Uh, it says frame capacity 400 pounds. Let me say a lot less. <laughs> I wouldn't put more than a buck fifty on here, and be feel comfortable with that. Okay, I saw it in another place described as only three hundred pound rating. Uh, what does it say on there? It's three hundred pounds. Excuse me, uh, four hundred pounds and four. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's four hundred pound capacity, and when you use the four wheels, you turn it sideways, and you take this lip, this handle out, and you put it this way uses as flat almost as a dolly uh, it says 300 pounds so that's why I saw two ratings on this okay so this configuration is rated at 400 pounds supposedly <laughs> I wouldn't do that and then uh, additional 300 pounds and that's a dolly configuration okay it's not very hard there's a couple of pins here so on and so forth basically I had a lot of trouble going up and down the stairs you guys can see I'm really wearing a belly here and I was taking these large objects up and down stairs with a serious incline no joke about like <laughs> it's I've never seen incline that bad I don't I think it's against cold but it was done so long ago that it probably doesn't matter and I'm a different state but because of my belly and carrying the weight out here it was kind of like more than uncomfortable so I wanted to find a dolly that I can go up and down the stairs. And I didn't want to pay a lot of money for it. I paid $55 for it. It did come with a serious flaw. I'm going to show you that flaw. And I'm going to show you what I did to compensate for that flaw. Okay. Uh, you guys saw the ruler already. 
probably about 48 inches high with this configuration you can lower the handle and you can raise it a couple more notches this is the bottom of the handle here so you have at least two more notches on this i'm sorry one here one here looks like you have about two locations to put excuse me i don't see oh i don't oh it's one location here excuse me one here and one here so there's three different locations to insert the handle up and down in this configuration you probably only have one or two to uh, the other configuration or oh, maybe only one you don't want it to go down too far interfere with the wheels i do like the build despite being plastic it was pretty easy to put together i did not like play in the wheels when i assembled it so i put a washer on the inside and one on the outside i'll show you that in a minute but for this instance i can see myself in the video i think you guys can see that nice g7 app there if you're using this camera for youtube videos so i'm going to pause the video now and i'm going to place the uh hand truck in a certain position i'm going to show you what i did to modify it to get it to work the way i want it this is supposed to be a dolly to actually <laughs> climb up and down stairs and i'm going to show you the floor and i'm going to show you how, how i compensate it right so let me pause the video and i'll start again make a second one and we'll add these together in software and make one video for you guys on YouTube, okay? Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to try to put three clips together. I want to actually try and semi-pan the dolly so you guys get a better idea of what you're looking at. There's the handle, there's the hooks that pop in and out. There's one each side. Um, there's the plastic construction, you guys can see that and see if we can focus in on there down there again monitor display off why is the monitor display off shouldn't be off i didn't turn it off okay still recording so excuse me about that maybe there's a timeout on the camera for the monitor display but it is recording so that's good okay Okay. I did slightly refocus it. The flaw in this particular model is to go up and down steps, this skid should actually be over here or close to the tire. And I was extremely disappointed when I got it. I believe I said I paid only $55 for this. I was very happy with the construction, the so-called weight rating, uh, adding washers to the wheels. It's helping me out um, on the outside, on the inside, to help make the durability. It did make the wheels tight when I first started using it, but they're starting to loose up now, and I haven't used it a lot. Um, I actually took some molding, and I'm going to turn it around after I show you. I have a screw here holding the molding and I have a screw here holding a different support okay so over here I have one support one support one screw holding the molding here one screw holding the molding here another screw here and here holding these two supports okay it's just some cheap inexpensive uh, one by use a little thicker than uh, one by a three quarter inch might be seven eighths or thickness at least about a good inch here both of them okay and I actually use some screws here one here one here and one in the bottom to hold the molding in place so between the three screws this way and the other screw this way holding this together is actually very sturdy. I did decide to place this other piece here just to make the frame sturdy. Uh, the handle per se 100 pounds or so going up and down the steps. So I'm hoping you guys are getting all this in the video. The molding is just basically a brick molding. Uh, good two inches thick uh, on the width and the girth uh, would probably be a little bit more because I'm probably about three inches because I took a saw, uh, sawzall 
and did the bend. And I don't know here if you can see, I'm about three quarter inches or five eighths of an inch from the behind the wheel. Giving me some compensation for wear on here and here on the wheels when they wear down. I can use it for say, pro hopefully a prolonged period of time. I know this may seem like a weird video, but this might help a lot of people. Getting something like this and trying to figure out what to do about it. Or some chubby other fellow like me, or even just normal folk going up and down stairs where you have to carry an item that might be 100 pounds. I'm not going to be specific about what the item is, but I'm trying to be specific that it, it was uh, good. 15 inches or so wider, and it wasn't the weight so much, it's, it's the girth of carrying it and trying to carry it over my body and then going up that incline, which I felt was uh, a ton of incline, basically what made me uh, buy this and show it to you guys on YouTube. I will leave in the description the exact bottle it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find it very easily. And I gave you guys the idea what works in this situation for this particular hand truck. If you guys got any questions, please ask. I have tried it uh, so far up and down the steps and have had almost no issue. Okay. See if I can raise it a little bit. Oh, you guys can see in the image, excuse me. What you can see here is this strap. It doesn't come with any type of scrapping, strapping, excuse me. So using bungee cords or something like that uh, might not be a bad idea. Okay, I just have that on there for now. And I'm not agreeable with the rating. On I think it's all a little over in size and I was very disappointed with that. But the way the material, the material they use, it has some serious resilience. So it was easy enough just to use some drywall screws and hook it all up and I'm good to go. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I gave you guys some ideas, especially going up and down stairs because hand trucks are nice until you have to go up and down stairs. And when you have to go up and down stairs with weight, things can get uh, a little bit more difficult. You're not trying to hurt yourself, your back or whatever it is. Something like this might help you guys out in that type of situation. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.